review, um, when we're working with exponents, what does this actually mean? 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 times 10. Okay. Now, if I were to say, for example, 1.2 times 10 to the third power, what would I do? What do you think? You first you find out what 10 times 10 is. 1,200. Okay, there's actually a very easy way to do this. You add three zeros to the end? Close. Oh. The decimal three spaces to the right. Ding, 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 ding. Excellent. She's exactly right. Okay, because 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the third power, is actually three zeros. Everybody remember that? Mm -hmm. Then 12, I mean 1.2 times that, we would just move the decimal one, two, three times, or you can just look up there. So one, two, three. So the answer to this problem would be 1,200. Everybody understand that? Everybody remember that? Okay. Well, today, this was just a quick review. So everybody's there with me, understands this, remembers it. Good. Okay. This one is multiplying powers of 10. So when we're taking scientific notations and multiplying two different ones. Okay, so that's what today's lesson is on. So let's check it out. For example, it says to multiply 1.2 times 10 to the third power, okay, times 3 times 10 to the seventh power. I believe it was 7. Yeah. Okay, now there's actually a very easy way to do this, okay? How many zeros does this one have? Okay, and how many zeros would this one have? Seven. Okay, does everybody remember that I can do five times three or I can do three times five? Yeah. Multiplication, you can switch the numbers up at any point. So guess what? The way that we can perform this is quite easy, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your numbers, 1.2 and 3, and you're going to multiply them, okay? So whenever you're doing scientific notation multiplication, you're going to, number one, multiply the numbers, okay? That's the first step. Multiply the numbers, okay? So let's do that. The numbers are 1.2 and 3. So let's do 1.2 times 3, and we end up getting 3.6. Okay. Now, the next thing I want you to see, and this one, actually this, this is this five right here. I, I want to make sure that I'm doing the way the book is, that way if you ever look at that example. This one's a five instead of a three, okay? So you might want to change that. I'm sorry, I didn't write that down right, okay? So what I want you to do is after you get your answer, 3.6, then... What you're going to do is go 10 to the 5th power and 10 to the 7th power. When you do this, you can actually just add the exponents. Because if I have 5 zeros here and I have 7 zeros, seven zeros here, guess how many zeros I have all together? 14, 12. 12. <laughs> Very good. 14. We have 12 zeros. Okay, so basically the answer now would be 3.6 times 10. How many zeros? 12. 12. Okay, so that becomes our new answer, so to speak. Um, and I think that's how they're going to want us to leave it. Uh, we're not actually, they didn't tell us to put it as a standard number. They told, you know, they just told us, it says multiply this, okay? And so if they don't say answer in standard, as a standard number, you would just answer like this. Does everybody so understand what we did? answer in the standard number, you just do one, We would two, do 3.6 and then move this 12 times and fill them in with zeros, okay? That is, yes? Um, uh, could, like, the little power, like, the thing with, like, you know, a little number up in the corner. Mm -hmm. Could that go, like, really high? How high can that go? I mean, I'm sure a lot. I don't know how much. So it could go, like, 35, 45. Mm -hmm. I know that it was, I was teaching a Bible study lesson, and um, one of the, the uh, uh, chances of Jesus' prophecy for three of them to come true although he fulfilled more than 200, 
for three of them to be fulfilled, it would be like one in the 10 to the 57th power. So it went up to 57. So basically they said that was like, if you took the state of Texas and filled up quarters three feet deep and covered the entire state of Texas, for one person to go and pick up the quarter that has a black mark on it is the chance that Jesus would fulfill just three of the prophecies and he fulfilled over 200. Isn't that crazy? So it at least goes up to 57 power. <laughs> so I don't know how much, but anyway, that's a pretty cool stat. That's a pretty cool. What's well, like um, number two? Is there like a number two? Just like, you know, a little, what is it called? Staff? Do you put like number what? one? Is there like a number no. two? Like, on what? Like on yeah. the board you put the number road. one on how to do that? Oh! Number one, number two was to then add your exponents. I'm sorry. Number one, she was, no, that's a good point to make. Number one is you're going to multiply your numbers. Number two, I'm sorry, I did not make that known. You are going to add your exponents. Okay, and that's where we got the five exponent plus the seven and got 12. Okay? So thank you, thank you. <laughs> you were like, uh, you're kind of like my Isaac. Okay, mom, you gave me point one, but where's point two, three, four, five? Yeah, Eli would be like, I didn't know we were supposed to have another point. You know? <laughs> okay, so the next one, let's see if y'all can do this, okay? This one says four <laughs> times 10 to the sixth power. And they're wanting us to multiply that by three times 10 to the fifth power. Okay. Now, what's my very first step? Multiply the numbers. Multiply the numbers. Okay. Four and three. Let's do that. We get 12. Okay. Times 10. Six. Second step is to add our exponents. Six and five is 11. Now, what is wrong with this answer? There is no decimal point. Did anybody else notice that? I did. Oh, yeah, that it's a good thing to notice. One. The first one was okay because it had the decimal point after the first non-zero number. This one, the decimal point is where right now? Behind it. Behind it. Behind it. Okay, and where is it supposed to be? In the middle. Between the one and the two. It's supposed to be after the first non-zero number. Okay, so how do y'all, do y'all remember how I told you to work this? Yeah. What's the very first step right here? 1.2. Make 1.2. Sort of. I told you to do something first. Right now the decimal is here. You, you add the 11 zeros yes. and then you put the decimal. We're going to go in and make it into a number. Okay, so right now it's 12. The decimal point's at the end, like always. And we're going to add 11 zeros because the decimal's here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now pretend I put zeros in there, okay? So if this is 11 zeros and I add one more to put my decimal here, what's my 11 going to become? 12. 12. Very good. So I'm going to move my decimal here and put my number up here as 12. Everybody see how we did that? Okay. I, I encourage you to write it out because a lot of people will go, oh, it's supposed to be 12 and just do it. And some people think, oh, it's supposed to be 10. It's just easier to make sure you don't make that mistake because especially as when we start adding negative numbers in there, which you all haven't done yet, it will start getting really confusing. Okay. So go in and write your standard number. And then go, okay, I had 11 zeros, and I want to do one more to put my decimal here, so that's going to mean um, 12. Very good. Yes. Okay. All right, let's do another one. This so, would it, oh, so the answer would be 1.2 times, times 10 12. to the 12. Very, very good. Okay, this next one's a little bit harder, and it's going to be negative numbers. So pay attention. 2 times 10 to the negative 5th power multiplied by 3 times 10 to the negative 7th power. Now, first step is? Uh, times your numbers. Uh, uh, times times your numbers. 2 times 3 is 6 times 10. Now, I encourage you, when they're not negative, it's easy just to look at them and add them up. I want you to just do this. Negative 5 plus negative 7, because that's what we're doing, right? Negative You're adding five. up your exponents. And so that would become negative 12. Negative 12. Now, 
What's wrong with this picture? It's not a decimal. There's not a decimal, okay? Kind of um, is because it is after the first non-zero number, okay? So are we right? It's completely right, okay? Because the decimal is after the first non-zero number, even if we can't see it. I have a question. Okay? So we wouldn't have to do anything to this one, okay? Yes? Would the last one be... Like the, you don't know how you said the last one it was a 5 and a 6? Would that be 11? Because you said it was 12. It changed to 12 because of the decimal on the last one. Okay? It used to be 11. Yeah. Remember that? Okay. Last one. Last problem. 5 times 3. 5 times 10 to the third power. 7 times 10 to the negative 8 power. Okay. Step number one, seven times five, 35. Step number two, three plus my negative eight. What am I gonna end up getting when I add my exponents? Three plus a negative eight. What'd you say? Negative five. Okay, what's wrong? There's not a decimal after the first non-zero number. Okay, what are you supposed to do? We'll see, okay? So what I want you to do right now, the decimal's after the 35, right? So let's go on and work it out. It's to the negative fifth, and right now it's right there, right? So we're going to go to the negative fifth, and when we're going negative, which way do we go? Left. Left. So one, two, three, four, five. Put my, my point there, adding my zeros. Where is my point supposed to be? Right after the three. So, how many bumps do I have? Four. Four. So, when it becomes 3.5, it becomes times 10 to the negative fourth. That's why, Grace, I say to write it out. Because you can get real confused. Am I supposed to do six or am I supposed to do four? You know you're supposed to move one step, but you can't remember what until you write it as a standard number. Okay? kind of gets really confusing. So I definitely encourage you, don't don't um, avoid this step just to try to get to a number right here, okay? It's very important. Even I have to do it as a teacher, okay? So a sleepy day. Yeah. Okay, is everybody good on that? Yep. Okay, that's lesson um, 